Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we're going to explain if we have a BMW guys, pretty much any BMW, it doesn't matter which one it is. And you guys suspect that you have a bad shock? bad struts we will explain guys the symptoms of bad shocks bad struts and usually what are the first symptoms before you even notice any different behavior out of your vehicle stay with us and we'll cover all that today before we start guys okay we have a 3 series here but uh, the uh, symptoms practically is the same for any bmw guys and any car uh, of ba uh, having bad shocks and back struts guys so uh, before we start, let me introduce you to the channel. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 to 300 free repair videos. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information to you guys. If you need to buy new shocks, struts, any parts or tools guys that we use to fix our vehicles, you can check out where we get all the tools and parts from and we'll have the link in the description of the video below so please check it out. Now, a few things that you will notice guys symptom number one okay yeah, you will not notice probably any different behavior at first okay of your vehicle you may notice a little bit but not much will be a leaking fluid out of your shock guys so this is the front shock on that bmw 3 series okay that leaking here this is caused by a shock leaking guys that shock okay it has actually gas okay it's gas pressure shock and it has oil inside of it as well and it says do not open okay because that those things can kill you but if guys okay if that shock starts leaking that means that the shock is almost done guys okay you have a few a few hundred kilometers miles guys maybe a few months and that's it you will definitely need a new shock so uh, that's guys the first symptom okay and you will not notice too much of a different behavior what else guys okay can be uh, can be noticed if you have bad shocks number one guys okay you may notice that when you hit your brakes hard you will notice that your nose the nose of your car starts diving that's if you have shocks bad shocks on the front guys or even if you have bad shocks on the rear your front end may nose because the rear will lift more guys so in both cases your front end will, will uh, nose will go down uh, more than it should when you hit the brakes hard and i can prove you that happened okay on this car guys right here uh, I almost didn't see a traffic light, hit the brakes really hard and I dragged that bumper on the black top guys. Okay, right here you can see I dragged the bumper on the black top. I hit, a, hit the brakes really hard and uh, the shocks are not very stable at all. Number three guys, okay, if let's say you're driving on the highway, you're driving 50, 60 mile an hour. All of a sudden there is a cut, okay, a pothole or something like that. When you hit that cut or a bump, if your shocks bottom guys okay they contract all the way up and you hear that loud noise in the suspension that means that your shock is weak okay it means that your shock guys is actually not doing its job and uh, it's too soft and as a result okay the travel compresses all the way down and you're bottoming out your shocks guys so that's very common another thing uneven tire wear now it could guys okay uh, uh, tire wear on the inside most likely could be caused by weak springs as well because if your springs are weak your car will sit lower when it sits lower uh, the geometry of the suspension is changed and that's why you can have uneven tire wear as well now something else guys if you have bad shocks you may notice a different tire wear the one that's like a scallop okay you have a low spot high spot low spot high spot but that's usually when your shocks are super super bad and you drove it for a long time uh, another thing when you hit a pothole if your shock is really bad what you will notice you will notice that your wheel will bounce okay will bounce and your car will feel very unstable and uh, taking a curve okay driving through mount mountain roads taking a curve guys at higher speed okay will make things really dangerous your car will not be stable at all and uh, bad shocks can kill you guys so you definitely need to replace them as soon as you can something else guys when your shocks are bad it will take your car a longer period of time to stop okay that has been proven and by big difference guys because your car okay suspension is not stable and as a result your car is not stopping as efficient as well so you want to address that issue and fix the bad shots it's as quick as you can but those are the most common things guys uh, but number one check for leaks if you have a leak most likely okay 
you need to replace them so uh, hopefully the video will be helpful guys thank you for watching please subscribe and see you guys next time